What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to tutorial 10 and today's topic will be how to delete uh, Jira issue comment from the REST API using Python so for example you have uh, uh, you have one project and inside a project you have multiple comments and now the requirement is that you want to delete one of the comments from your uh, from your existing issue so for that definitely you need the uh, comment ID and after that it is going to be a just one line code so the documentation for this tutorial is given here i'm not going to uh, like uh, uh, do any any any, any like uh, kind of very detailed uh, theoretical part this is going to be just uh, only one line of code if you just come here and this url so if you see you just uh, like you have to just hit this url actually i believe uh, no not this one uh, the delete issue yeah you need to just hit this URL which request or delete. Like it is going to be a delete request and you have to just uh, hit this URL. So for the timing, uh, I'll be going to let me just go to TTS4 and inside the TTS4 I have multiple comments. So for example, let's I just want to delete this comment, comment updated by Python, this one. So for that I need the comment ID actually. The comment ID is 10013. So now what we are going to do, so let me create one uh, file tuto tutorial 10.py right and I'm going to copy everything from here okay so I don't need this one and definitely I don't need this one as well response sir. like this ok just uh, hold on let me just change this url so probably I don't need this one ok and I need to just change the url So URL, I'm going to take it from the API documentation. Okay. Just hold on. Let me just, uh, uh, change this thing from here. So for that thing, what do you need? I need the URL REST API 3 issue. Uh, and um, not delete issue. I need to delete the comment actually. Uh, delete comment here. So it will be uh, API REST API issue issue ID comment comment ID. So REST API REST API and then it should be issue then issue ID issue ID is TTS four then comment and comment ENG comment and comment ID is one double zero one three. Mm, yes, where is my comment? So, to copy and if I put it here, like, yeah, it is 1003. Okay, so done, done, done. It should be request or delete. Okay, URL is here, header is here, everything is here. So, hopefully, if I run this thing with our issue will be deleted okay so, oh, it should be easy. what is this thing sorry I believe it is deleted I just did a mistake so that is why it is not going to so let me just check here whether it is deleted or not okay. so this one I come and update it so let's click on that see it is going to delete it so let me just try this one yep so it is 10012 so just hold on um, just print response 
dot txt should be like this. Okay. Let's run this thing. So done. So it is not going to return anything actually. Okay. So one double zero two has been deleted. So it is also deleted. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just try to delete this big one actually. Okay. So it is going to be one triple zero nine. Okay. Let's delete this one. It is also deleted. So what I'll do, I'll just try to check this one here. Mm, I think this one. So let me just check whether it is still available or not. See, it is deleted. So this is very simple, guys. If you just uh, know the uh, comment ID, you can delete anything. Like what? What are the things you are actually uh, like have to put? You have to put the issue ID. You have to put the comment ID, and after that, you have to just hit the URL with this delete command or delete request. It is going to delete everything not everything the actual command now the thing is that we can make it a bit complex for example you have a csv file inside the csv file you have uh, multiple project sorry multiple uh, like issues and multiple comment id so now you want to delete uh, maybe 10 or 100 or thousands of uh, like uh, comments from a, uh, various issues for that definitely you have to do some sort of for looping so probably we are going to we are going to do that in the next tutorial so the simplest part this is the simplest part actual thing is going to be happen here but now you have to do if you want to do some sort of tweak then definitely you have to use uh, like proper python for looping and other things so that will be done in the next tutorial so probably this is the right time to conclude the video so just practice and uh, there is nothing much to explain in this tutorial hopefully you are going to uh, tackle the next tutorial very soon that is that multiple uh, deleting multiple or how to delete multiple comments from multiple uh, issues from uh, reading from a csv file okay so that's it guys uh, that's all for today uh, hope to see you in the next video very soon till then take care goodbye and have a nice day